Hey my little truffles, how y'all doing? It's your favorite girl, Gaelic Kaka. Y'all give it up for Nikki, cause Pink Friday 2 by Nikki has now been named one of the best albums of 2023 by Paper Magazine. Pink Friday 2 has been making waves, so this is well deserved. And Pink Friday 2 has now also surpassed 900 million streams on Spotify. Now I get why Megan was being petty about people using Spotify cause she got no streams while the queen out here queening. Please like, subscribe and do not forget to turn on your notification button so that I don't miss out on all the tea I'll be dropping. Moving on to the hater Trina. So Trina was out here doing an interview and was asked questions and she was like Beyonce has opened doors for female rap. She's the number one female rapper and an inspiration. And I'm like honey are you drunk? No shade to Queen B, but y'all know this is the perfect definition of who Nikki is. Nikki is a trendsetter. Nikki made ways and opened doors for all and most of the female rap girlies. Trina is just out here being a jealous hater because y'all know Trina and Nikki hung out back in the days, but Nikki was able to blossom and become influential due to her talent and impeccable talent, while Trina, on the other hand, ended up as a flopping disaster despite being in the game for 20 years plus. Trina's actions are screaming malicious and what's hilarious about all of this is the fact that she's out here praising Queen B for being her fave while Queen B did tributes for Nicki Minaj. That's the only female rapper Queen B has done that to just to prove to y'all that Queen B acknowledges the fact that Nicki's done so much for the industry despite not getting enough recognition and acknowledgement. I kind of understand Trina at this point in time because y'all know everyone forgot that someone like Trina existed till this interview. Everyone's trying to use Nikki's name for clout, for attention and I hope Nikki pays dust to the entire situation because it's high time this flopping artist look for another PR stunt because this is getting annoying and exhausting and redundant. Y'all please ignore Trina and go stream Pink Friday too. We got a lot of records to break and the queen needs to keep queening because that's going to be the perfect clap back to all these haters out here not giving flowers to the queen. This just shows you how dirty rap is because this is someone who used to be so close with Nikki. They hung out together, did birthday parties together and then all of a sudden caught like is it Nikki's fault you ended up being a flop? Is it Nikki's fault you can't write bars? Is it Nikki's fault you ain't talented? Is it Nikki's fault you never go on tour because you've been flopping? It ain't Nikki's fault. Nikki can't afford to always try to bring everyone and push everyone to the limelight because it's no secret that Nikki has done so many remix with Trina just to save her sorry blimping blimp but none of them was able to save her after the remix because Nikki does a remix you go viral but after that what do you have to offer nothing because you got no potentials Please like, subscribe, and do not forget to turn on your notification buttons so that I don't miss out on all the tea I'll be dropping. Thank you.